okay what is up everyone this is Ken here welcome back as always to tech and youtube channel we have the project radiant based on android 12 for you project radiant uh, it is also one of those custom rooms which is just from the unique ones out there project radiant has changed a lot of things of course ui changes a new setup wizard and etc which all the things i'm going to share with you in this video so stay tuned for that and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe this channel let's find out some things which you get in this latest project radiant os based on android 12. first of all this is the ui which you get in about phone this is called project radiant which we have right now i tried it on a redmi note 5 pro it's available for redmi note 9 pro redmi note 10 pro of course and maybe for other devices also some devices got the official build some devices got the unofficial build so if your device got official one go and try out this one if your device got unofficial check out xd etc if you want to try it out on your device and make sure to find out bugs if you are having facing any kind of things i will try this build on redmi note 9 pro and will try to review that one first of all this is the setup wizard if you boot this room for the first time you will see this kind of logo the radiant logo the radiant text and the start option which looks quite good and i think so at least it's a very good move I don't think so you get this kind of setup wizard in any other custom so far while making this video but it looks good. Including that if you move on to the next step you will see this kind of welcome to radiant option there is some kind of introduction. You can see the default fonts are changed like harmonious fonts which we have. You can join the telegram channel groups bug reports etc everything is included which is a very good move and I think so it's a good change for you. Including that, if you move on to the other option, you'll see that you have the option to choose between three button or a gesture. So yes, it's up to you if you want to use gestures as most of the users will definitely use gestures on their devices. So yes, you can choose this one. And then we have the option to check out if you want to use a tutorial for that, which I don't think so any of user will go for. But yes, if you want, the option is enabled here for you, which means the option is available here. If you want to enable it, you can. If you don't want to use it, it's up to you. Moving on to the settings UI. Yes, settings UI as expectedly has some little bit of changes here, which means the dividers are there. As you can see, network, internet and connected devices have different kind of separators or you can say dividers. Apps and notifications have different kind of things. Battery, storage, sound, display and etc. All these things are separated into other columns or other separators, dividers. Looks better. A very good, unique kind of UI which you get in the latest project Radiant Android 12 base, which we are talking about. Including that, if you move on to the personalization section, which is basically a theming section, customization section, you don't get many customization in this uh, custom room, unfortunately. Like, for example, even in Descended OS, we have some better features, but in this one, unfortunately, they are not. We have the custom monitor settings. Of course, if you don't want to use the wallpaper based theming, you can. That is, of course, quite useful. You also have the pitch black white, pitch black black theme if you want to enable the dark theme. And same like if you want to enable the small clock for the lock screen, you can. Locksing has options for you. If you want to use this small clock, it's available. If you don't want to use it, if you want to use the default one, which has a big clock, you can use that one. Some things which I just want to let you know, I already shown you. So yes, if you want to install this build, you can, as I previously mentioned you. If this build is available officially for you, you can try it out. If this is if this build is unofficially available for you, you can try out finding on XTA. And yes, if it is not available, it might be available for you very soon. These were things I just want to let you know. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. I will see you next video. Until then, goodbye. Take care. Like I'm floating through the air